What's going on guys? Today I'm going to demonstrate within Adobe Premiere CC how to make a time lapse. In a previous video, I'll leave you a card right there, I demonstrated how to capture time lapses two different ways. Watch that video if you uh, want to know how to capture time lapses within the camera, but this video is going to be geared towards how to make that time lapse happen within uh, post processing. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, we're in Premiere Pro right here. Let's load some video files. These are some shots that I shot recently. Let's start with cars. So cars, I have two videos. I have a video that I just pressed the record button, shooting red. M6 over here is shooting with the time-lapse feature. So in this shoot, I had two cameras. I had a Canon G7X and a Canon M6. One camera, I shot the time-lapse feature, which let me show you right here. Basically, the camera makes you the time-lapse for you, as you can see right there. But we're not here for that because we want to learn how to make a regular video into a time-lapse. My video on how to make a time-lapse inside a camera is in the card above. You can watch that if you want. But let me start off with the audio. When you make a time lapse, the audio becomes pretty useless because it becomes very chipmunky, very fast. So what I like to do is get rid of the audio, the audio. Press Option, hold down Option if you're on a Mac. On Windows, hold down Control and left click with the mouse. And press Delete and get rid of the audio. Okay, so all we have left is the video right here. And let's right click and press Speed and Duration. Right here we have a few options. There's a speed option right here and percentage. The duration, it tells you in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Reverse speed is if you want to re rewind it. So basically instead of playing it forward, you will play it backwards. Uh, maintain pitch and audio, you don't, don't worry about that because we're not, in a, in a time lapse you're speeding up fast enough where this, this option won't really matter to you because there's nothing you can do with the audio to make it sound good. The audio is sped up and uh, yeah this thick chipmunks and really fast talking chipmunks if you speed if you speed up the audio fast enough like in the time lapse ripple edit shifting trailing clips if you have this on it'll move the clips from the behind and in front together if you don't I'll it'll make gaps of black here and there I'll show you that in a in the next time lapse we make Okay, so let's move this, let's make this video into twice as fast. 200% right there. As, as you can see, the clip was smaller. And let me play it for you. There you go. That is twice as fast as normal speed. Let's make it even faster, shall we? Here's 500%. Let me play some. There you go. I'm moving at 500% speed. Okay, let's go to back to 100%. Okay. So at 100%, the video is 15 minutes, 15 seconds, and 18 frames. Say we have a section in our video or vlog that you want the time lapse to be 30 seconds. Press 30 seconds and th zero frames. So that's 3000. Press OK. And your time lapse just went to 30 seconds. Let me play that for you. This computer is a little slow, so I can't really do it in real time. But if you render this clip out, it will look much smoother. Okay, let's get rid of the cars. And let's move to. Let's go to clouds. So in this video, I have shot a video. And this is the render, the full render and color grid version. I'll play that for you right now. Look at that. That's fully color graded and rendered out. As you can see, it's really smooth. It looks kind of cool. Okay. I want to make this clip right next to this clip here to show you what that ripple function does. Let's speed up this clip. 
I'm gonna leave the audio attached. It'll sound very chipmunky. I'm gonna leave this option, Ripple Edit, Shifting Tail and Clips off. Let's move up to 200%. There you go. See this black area here? If you don't have that option ch ch selected, it's gonna have this black option right there. Now, if you have that option selected, it will shift all the clips with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's move it even faster. Let's say I know this has to be 15 seconds. 15 seconds. I'm going to get rid of this audio because it's going to sound real nasty. And here we go. Once you render it out, it'll be smooth. But that's how you do it. Let's close out the clouds. Let's go to love. No, let's go to Oticon because I'm going to show you another way to do time lapse in this premiere. See, this is the regular video. You can hear people talking in the background. What I'm going to do is unmarry the clip. Why? Because I want to keep the audio. Because I, I, I like the background audio of people talking. It creates environment. And see, now you can select the audio and video separately. If you have the video linked together, you can't select them individually. You can, you can press option and select each one, but to make it very easy, we're just, I'm just gonna unlink them. So what we have here is the video file, and this is the second way to do it. You're gonna right click this FX button right here, go timing mapping and speed. So it creates a line right here. This is the, t the speed right here. Hold down command, Windows users, I'll put a, a little box on the bottom right showing what button to press. And you're gonna click right there. That'll make a key point right there and you can sp speed down or speed up. So I'm gonna speed it up to, I guess, one, two something. And it's gonna go slow, slow, slow. Uh, not, not slow, but regular speed. It's gonna go regular speed. a long time and people start speeding up look at that but let's ramp it let's move it that way you can move the ramps ramp wherever you want it let's try it again people going on regular speed then they start going faster because you're ramping it people going faster 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 there you go almost full speed of fastness that's ramping and you can you can do the same same concept with speeding stuff down so let's speed it down slow it down this is like oh that's way too slow let's do 50 percent very slow well at least twice as slow Okay, so as you can see, when I play that, the audio sounded like people are still talking in the background. Let's speed it up. So if you do a time lapse, the video is going to be shorter, and all you got to do is bring the audio that way. And there you go. You have the environmental audio with the time lapse. But usually with time lapses, you're going to want a, a nice tune or a jingle with it. So let's close out of that. Let me show you one more. One more time lapse and we're caught done for today. So this is typical for a smaller camera or a camera that splits up a long video into multiple videos. This is the finished product. This is fully rendered and color graded and This video is 30 seconds and we have a whole clip of maybe 20 to 20 minutes we're going to condense down. So the cameras that split the video into different clips, like this one, I, the, the camera split it into four clips. So you to make it everything easier, 
because you don't want to calculate it yourself. But you could just do this here and t speed variation and say, you know, 200%. You can do that. But since you know this is supposed to be one scene, let's make it easier on yourself and right click and nest. What this does is put everything into a separate sequence and you have a sequence within a sequence. So if you double click on the nested sequence, you can see it opens up over here and inside this sequence you have basically have the four video clips. And now it makes it easier. You can, I'm going to get rid of that audio. There's nothing really in that audio to do besides wind noise. Right click, speed duration, and let's try a minute. There you go. One minute. And this is a, a minute time lapse. There it goes. Just keep in mind, it will be much smoother when you render it out fully. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our video for how to make a time lapse within Adobe Premiere CC. I hope this video has helped you out in some way or has guided you in a way to make the time lapses. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, please leave them down below in the comments and I will get to them and answer them and help you out any way I can. Until next time guys, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and until next time, peace out.